Hey, my name's Tom Peter, and today I'm going to take you through a 30 minute barbell leg workout. All you need for this workout is a barbell and some plates. Don't worry if you haven't got the squat stands, you can always clean the weight up into position. We're going to start off with a warm up, doing two rounds, four exercises. 30 seconds each. I'm going to be using 20 kilos total. That's 44 pounds. I've got a 10 kilo bar and some five plates. Let's get ready to go. We're starting things off with some pause back squats. So come down to the bottom position, pause there for two to three seconds, and then return to the top. Make sure your upper back is staying tight. Your knees shouldn't be collapsing inside of your big toes, so you probably want to externally rotate and push them out to the side slightly. It's okay to have a slight turnout to your feet and your foot width apart will be what's comfortable for you. So we're about to move straight into some alternating leg reverse lunges. So let's take backward steps, dropping the back knee to the floor. You can either gently touch or come very close. Make sure your upper back still stays tight and your front knee shouldn't be collapsing in either. After this, you'll need to either re-rack the bar or just put it on the floor and we're going to do some body weight alternating lateral lunges. So you're going to pick a fairly wide stance to start with. Your feet are actually going to stay stationary and let's go for those alternating side lunges. Try and be conscious that the bent knee isn't collapsing inwards. So you want to keep it pushed out towards the little toe and your trailing leg should be straight, feeling a stretch down the inside of the adductors and inner hamstrings. Next, we're going to move straight into another body weight one. We're doing some alternating leg Romanian deadlifts. Try and keep your hips square to the floor. So don't aeroplane your hips. That means don't twist your hips to the side as you go into that Romanian deadlift. You can unlock the leg of the one you're standing on, but try not to change the angle of the knee as you come down into each rep. So we're coming to the end of round one of two in the warm up. So get ready to go straight back into those pause back squats. Well done, that's the warm up complete. Let's load the bar now for section one. We're gonna do three rounds, four exercises, 30 seconds on, 30 seconds off. Within this, we're gonna do a front squat for around 10 to 12 reps. So you need to load a weight on the bar that you're comfortable for a front squat for. I'm gonna use 50 kilos, which is about 110 pounds, but pick whatever's right for you. 
if you struggle with upper body mobility and holding the bar in that classic front rack position, you could use a cross shoulder grip, you could use some wrist straps to change the angle of your wrist, or you could just do a kettlebell or dumbbell goblet squat instead. If you're using a conventional front rack position, make sure you spread the weight of the bar from your shoulder right across the top of your collarbone to the other shoulder. It shouldn't be choking you, but it also shouldn't be rolling forwards. You could try using wrist wraps to take a little bit of the pressure off the wrists or use an alternative grip. Your front squat should be a more upright torso position than a back squat. Well done, take a 30 second rest now. I've designed this workout so that we start with mechanically weaker positions and then progress through the four exercises to mechanically stronger positions. So you would usually use a slightly heavier weight for your back squat than your front squat, but because we're already pre-fatigued, you should be able to use the same weight through the four exercises, despite traditionally you would load up the later ones heavier. Have a nice controlled tempo on the way down on your back squats. Keep your upper back tight, pinning your shoulder blades together. That'll really help set the line of your back nice and solid. Make sure your tailbone is not excessively tucking under at the bottom and keep your knees pushed out to the side. Your heels shouldn't lift off, but we do want even pressure between the front, back, inside and outside of your feet. Well done, take another 30 second break. So we've done two squat exercises. Now we're gonna move on to two deadlift variations. We're gonna start off with a sumo deadlift. So that's gonna be a wide stance deadlift. That'll emphasize the glutes slightly more than your conventional deadlift. Grip the bar on the inside of your legs. You want your feet turned out at around a 45 degree angle to one another. And don't let your knees collapse to the inside. You wanna keep them pushed out and you might feel a stretch on the adductors when you do that. You should have your shoulders lined up directly above the bar. Pull your back in tight before you lift. So you want a flat back before every rep. That might mean that you have to reset each rep. That's absolutely fine. Next, we're gonna move onto a conventional deadlift. For this, you want your feet to be around hip width apart, and this time there's no turnout, so your toes are pointing directly forwards and your hands will be on the outside of your knees. Again, make sure your back's flat before you lift off the floor. So you wanna drop your hips down, wrap your lats around your body, Pull your upper back tight as well and then keep the bar really close to your body throughout the whole lift and on the way down as well. Great job, there's round one of three done. In this first section of the workout, we've got a 45 second break now. If you found that first round a little bit too challenging, then just take a little bit of weight off the bar. And if you found it too easy, maybe load a little bit extra on. So we're gonna start back with that front squat. Remember, you can use whatever grip is most comfortable to you, or feel free to just do a goblet squat variation.
great job. There's two rounds down, just one to go in this first section of the workout. After this, we'll be lowering the weight on the bar and moving to four new exercises. Again, as I said before, if you need to lower the weight now or increase it slightly to get the weight just right for you for this first section, feel free to do that now. If not, just take a short break. Well done, that's section one complete. Onto section two now. You're gonna to need to lower the weight on the bar. I'm gonna go down to 30 kilos, that's about 66 pounds. But again, you need to choose the weight that's right for you. In this section, there's gonna be some good mornings and some alternating barbell reverse lunges if that helps you to make your weight selection. Again, we're gonna do four new exercises, doing 30 seconds on, 30 seconds off for three rounds. This is the final workout in my seven day barbell series. But if you've been on the series for a while, let's say you've been repeating that series for four to six weeks already and you fancy trying something new, check out my 12 week barbell plan ebook, which I've linked in the description of this video once you finish the workout. 
the first exercise and this second section is going to be a good morning it's a really great exercise for strengthening the lower back if you do it well but if you're really struggling with it you could swap it out and do some barbell glute bridges instead start with the bar in a low bar position so that's as low down on your back as you can get without feeling like it's going to slip off initiate the movement not by leaning forwards but by pulling your hips backwards whilst keeping your shoulder blades pinned together and your back flat you don't want the bar to lean forwards in front of your toe line so from a bird's eye view down the bar should not be in front of your toes you're just going to hinge at the hip until you feel your maximum hamstring stretch and then squeeze your glutes back through to the top as i said before if you're struggling with that on your lower back you either need to work on the technique tips that i just explained or swap it out for a barbell glute bridge instead next we're going to move on to an alternating leg barbell reverse lunge if the bar's too heavy for lunges you could just do this with your body weight instead just like in your warm-up take alternating backward steps making sure the front knee doesn't collapse in towards the big toe keeping your upper back tight and if you've got the shoulder mobility it's good to have your elbows directly underneath the bar Next, you need to bring the bar lower down and we're going to do a barbell leg raise. I think you could include the hip flexors as part of your legs, so I've included this in this workout. You're going to hold a reaching crunch position with your head and shoulders slightly off. And while you do that, you're going to do leg raises up towards the bar, making sure your lower back doesn't arch off in the bottom position. Make sure you don't bash your shins on the bar. Lower your legs slowly down until you feel like your lower back is gonna arch off the floor, but make sure that doesn't happen. And when you do a leg raise up to the top, I want your tailbone to slightly rock off the floor. The whole time you're maintaining that reaching crunch position with your upper abs. Your head and shoulders are just slightly off the mats. Flip into the other side of the body now, we're going to work the hamstrings with a Romanian deadlift. This is a double leg Romanian deadlift. Again, working on that hip hinge in a similar way to you would in a good morning, but you're going to hold the bar down at your hips this time. You can unlock your knees slightly but that knee angle should stay fixed as you come down into the rep we don't want to turn it into a regular deadlift by bending your knees too much we're trying to focus on the hamstrings during this keep the bar really close to your quads and shins as you hinge this will help ease any pressure on the lower back and give you the maximum hamstring stretch keep your shoulder blades pinned together and your lats pulled around your body Well done, take a break. That's round one of three done in this second section. So you've got two more rounds to go and then that's the workout complete. As I mentioned in the halftime break, this workout is actually part of a seven day barbell series. You can check that out on my channel in the playlist. You'll see it labeled seven day series. This is actually day six. There's a rest day on day seven, but if you're not already on the series, you could just start straight away with day one. It's an upper body workout. So check out either the link in the description below of this video or check out the playlists on my channel. Get ready to start back with those good mornings or swap them out for the glute bridges.
Great job, there's two down, just one round to go and then you completed the workout. If you're looking to get some more gym kit, maybe you're looking for a larger selection of weight plates, maybe you want some bumper plates of the Olympic diameter or a new barbell, check out some of the links I put in the description of this video. There to some companies that give great value, great quality plates and barbells. It's an affiliate link, but it doesn't cost you any more to go through them. So if you are considering getting some, I'd appreciate it if you have a look at the ones in there. This is the last set of the workout, so keep going, you're almost there. If you're doing the seven day barbell series, then well done. This is the final day before you get a rest day tomorrow. If you're not already doing the series, make sure you check that out. It's a week's schedule of six workouts and one rest day that can be repeated to make a longer four to six week program. If you've enjoyed the workout, let me know in the comments below and let me know where in the world are you doing these workouts from. I always love to hear that. Make sure you're subscribed. Give the video a thumbs up if you enjoyed it and see you again soon for another video.